Hey everyone, thanks for joining us on Ludicrous Feed. You're with Tesla Tom. Over the next couple of nights, I'm going to find out once and for all what is more efficient, a column heater or a reverse cycle air conditioning system. I've got three bedrooms that I need to heat overnight uh, for two children and then one for myself and my wife. I've got a column heater set up for each room and for the first night, I'm going to turn them all on and then find out how much energy that requires. And then for the second night, I'm going to run the reverse cycle air conditioning system to heat the whole upstairs of my house and then find out how much energy that requires. And then we'll see once and for all which is more efficient to heat three bedrooms at once. Over the next couple of nights in Sydney, the weather conditions are basically exactly the same. Uh, as you can see, they're sort of around 8 to 17 degrees on the next two or three nights. So it's kind of the perfect time to do this experiment uh, because we can control for the weather as well. Alright, well the first night will be the column heater situation, so we'll run those overnight and then I will see you in the morning to see how much energy that has used up. See you soon. Okay, so as you just saw last night, we used three column heaters and it pulled about 18 kilowatt hours from the grid. Now tonight, as for the second part of my experiment, we're going to use my fully ducted reverse cycle air conditioning system, which heats all of my upstairs um, that has all three bedrooms. So uh, we'll put this on very shortly and then we'll uh, take a recording tomorrow morning and see how much electricity that uses versus the column heaters. Can't wait to see the result. See you shortly. Well, you can clearly see now that the uh, column heater has won the day. Uh, the first slide shows that three column heaters took 18 kilowatt hours uh, overnight between midnight and 6.30 a.m. And then the uh, ducted air conditioning took 28 kilowatt hours to heat the equivalent of my upstairs area, which has admittedly five bedrooms and a landing area, so really six bedrooms, and that took 28 kilowatt hours. I guess my final thoughts are that um, if you account for the hot water uh, and the fridge in the background of those two numbers, you've got to deduct about 3 kilowatt hours between them. So it would be more like 15 kilowatt hours versus 25 kilowatt hours. But either way, there's a 10 kilowatt hour difference between the two uh, setups. So um, if it's 15 kilowatt hours for three column heaters, so you can assume that each column heater takes about 5 kilowatt hours to run, about 6.5 hours. So I guess the, the magic number here is 5, because uh, if you've got 5 column heaters taking 5 kilowatt hours each, that's 25 kilowatt hours, which is equivalent of running your uh, reverse cycle ducted air conditioning. So I guess the take home message from this video is that if you've got more than 5 rooms that you need to run your heaters for, uh, and if you're using column heaters, then I think any more than 5 you're better off using the reverse cycle ducted air conditioning system to uh, heat your entire house. Um, and I've tried to control for the weather as you can see in my very first slide of this video. Both nights were very similar, uh, clear nights um, with a low of about 8 degrees uh, in, uh, in Sydney, Australia. But uh, yeah, for my situation, um, I'm better off running three column heaters overnight for my three bedrooms. Uh, if I'm having guests over and I need to heat more than five bedrooms, then yes, I will run the reverse cycle air conditioning. Well, thanks for watching. I um, hope that um, clarified a few things for you if you're not sure which is more cost efficient uh, with regards to a column heater or something um, more systemic like a um, reverse cycle ducted air conditioning system. And uh, it's a lovely day here in Sydney and I uh, hope it's lovely where you are as well. And as always, happy charging.